Eric Mother, mother.com for February 1st, 2018. Let's take a look at markets here. We've been trading for about, let's say, two hours, three hours. And the market has been as high as 150 points on the Dow. I want to show you what I'm looking at here short term. If I was to be playing this intraday. All right. So now take a look at this blue line. So let me draw that line so we can see it. This line right here. And the line connects the lows there, there, and there. Now notice what happened when we broke below that line recently. Here, we see the market come off those levels there. And again, we have uniform activity above the line and back below it. Right there, which gave us another short term sell signal because of that uniform activity rejection, which gave us those intraday highs there. Now I see the market coming back to test the same line. And so the question is, are we going to be able to move above the blue line now? Or are we going to experience resistance again with uniform action? And are we going to start coiling from current levels? So again, that's where the market is trading. In my opinion, the fact that the market is coming back to the same level Chances are, more than likely, this might turn out to be intraday where you want to take a short position as far as the market is concerned because once this is confirmed as uniformity rejection, if this is confirmed as uniformity rejection, that is where you want to take up a position expecting the market to pull back. And this is the chart for the Dow hourly. Let's take a look at the other major averages. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ hourly to see what it looks like. Or NASDAQ futures. And let me clear those lines so I don't confuse anybody. We can see here on the NASDAQ hourly. In my opinion, it is already confirming this line here. And what I can do is zoom into that time period. You can see what the market is already doing here, in my opinion, is already showing topside resistance, suggesting that the Dow hourly chart we just saw is going to also show uniform action rejection. Let's not forget also that there's another line coming from the lows. should be something like that. This line is also showing backtest failure possibility short term. Keep in mind, if you are going to take the short position, you want to do that before the hourly chart goes below 50. On the hour where we go below 50, expect a big down candle or a big down hourly move. So in other words, this is where one would be taking a position, expecting a pullback based on the lines that we are looking at in this video. And if we take a look at the S&P 500 futures, we can draw a line like that. You can see here, uniform activity rejection of the hourly highs right there. Uniform activity rejection of the hourly highs there. Uniform activity rejection, double top rejection of those highs and now we've already hit that line and from what we are seeing right now of course it could change but from what we are seeing here as long as this remains resistance chances are this is where you want to take up a short position for a short swing trade lower now keep in mind if and when the monthly charts turn down for the month of february expect the market to really change and be putting pressure on the downside. So how long this is going to be a downside sell signal depends on whether or not we are trading positive for the month. Today being February 1st, let's be sensitive to the idea that once the market turns red for the month, expect the pressure to really start putting the general market pointing down after such a big move of the 2016 February 
lows. I'll leave you right there. This is Eric Mwadi with Mwadi.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.